Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's Marvel Designer course, we will learn how we can use a UV editor tool inside Marvelous Designer and also how we can apply textures in Marvelous Designer. So first of all, we have this model here and we have all these um, maps. Okay, now I want to apply a texture to it. So what I can do is that I will create a new uh, fabric here. This will, I will re right click, rename it to top, add, right click, rename it to bottom. Now I can click and drag all these uh, to my uh, top, but it will take time. So the easier way is to select everything, go to the top, okay, oops, select everything, then click this button this will assign it uh, everything to the top and I will take the bottom then go here you don't have to go the, uh, you, you don't have to click on it you just have to press this otherwise it will deselect everything now if I will press delete unuse so the fabric one will be deleted because it was uh, it wasn't in use now I will go to the top in the top we have here open and save if you have already created a fabric you can open it up or if you want to save the current you can press the save button now the name of the fabric is top the classification we don't have it right now so you can uh, do the classification if you want to make a different further classif uh, two or three different parts of it now this is a pbr material we have substance also but we are working on pbr right now in the next lesson we will learn about the uh, substance now we can do for the front side, back side and the sideways. But at this point, we are only working on the front. Otherwise, you can work on all the other sides. Now, fabric type is a fabric mat. You can have a shiny silk, velvet, glass, leather, plastic, whatever suits you. For me, I think fabric mat is fine. Now I can choose the texture here. I can click on my texture. Okay. And then I can go to my textures uh, here, the list. Okay. And there are a couple of, a lot of textures here. So I have this dragon stuff. Okay. I will take this out and it will be applied on it. Okay. So if I will select, need to show here. So what you need to do, you have to, Go here, show, Wait, click here, texture surface, click on it, then it will show. Because before it was monochromatic. So you have to make sure you are using the texture surface, otherwise uh, it won't show. So now it is texture surface and I can see the whole thing here with the uh, with the, my texture on it. Now I can go to the bottom, I can choose another texture here. I can choose maybe uh, this one, and you can see that I have that. Yeah. Now, in the top, you can also add a normal map. Maybe you can go if I have a normal map here, I can choose any normal map. Okay, this is not meant for the this material, but I'm just showing you. I will just press on it, and the normal map will be applied, and you can see it's showing that the texture. Okay, of the normal map. Then I have displacement. I can go back here and there is a displacement map here somewhere. This is the displacement. I will choose that. As soon as I will do it, it will give me some options for the displacement. If you click on it, you have amount, how much you want, uh, particle distance and everything. So maybe I want the it to be a little higher, like 10 or something like that. Displacement. Okay. And then you can see it will become a little bit more realistic. Okay, so that's how you can apply your textures. Now to control the textures, what you can do is that here we have edit texture option on the top. If I click on it, you will see there is this green direction. You can manually move the green direction. Okay, each one of it separately. Or what you can do is that you have 
green direction for the whole thing. So if I will select the whole uh, texture, so I have this rotation amount and I can change the whole thing and you can see it is changing and I can reduce the size of it and you can see it is changing there. Okay. Similarly, I can do the same thing with the, uh, my the, like trousers and I can move them by clicking on on it and moving the green direction wherever like wherever you want it you have uh further other settings here you can reduce the opacity of your fabric you can have an opacity mask so for example if i will choose an opacity mask which is black and white or something like this open it up okay so you can see how the opacity mask is Okay, it's just showing the Marvelous Designer logo all the way there. And maybe you can turn it off. Oops. Try that. Okay, press the delete button and it will be gone. Then we have here alpha. If your opacity mask is black and white, the one that I was using was color. So that's why I chose RGB. Now this is reflection. If you want to add a reflection, suppose if you're creating a uh, silk, so you can add a little bit reflection or less reflection, totally up to you. Reflection intensity, how much you want it to be reflective. So it's too much. You can see that this light is no more on it. Okay. Let me reduce the roughness this is the roughness this is the reflection okay so roughness if i will reduce it it will become more sharper the reflection will become more sharper because it's uh intensity of the reflection is uh, becoming higher okay so roughness is the shininess if you increase it it will become more matte it, if, if you will reduce it it will become more specular then metalness it will make it look like a metal good if you are doing a like you know those kind of silk stuff that look very reflective so for that purpose you can use that and you can use your own metal map here now here we have the physical property now if you wanted to create it uh and make it look like it's a silk so you can just go to the presets here and choose from hundreds of presets here Okay, so there are a lot of presets. If you don't find, if you are confused, what you can do, note down the name and search it in, uh, like search about them in Google. It will show you the picture of it and then you it will become easier for you. So suppose I will use uh, Silk Chiffon. So it will, uh, when I will uh, simulate it, it will more look like a like Silk like Chiffon. So that's how these uh, presets helps you. Now, another thing here is that if I will select all of them, okay, and then if I will go to my property here, I have here shrinkage and weft. This I can increase or decrease to see more um, uh, like uh, wrinkles on it. Okay, so that's what we can do here. Let's do that. So we can see some wrinkles and the reaction of the wrinkles with the clothes. Okay. And plus one more thing I can do here is to increase its, uh, so to decrease its particle distance to make it high res. Okay. and simulate it okay now this is how oh, you can simply apply the texture and to edit them and uh, to control them next is if you you want to control it uh, and move it around uh, using the uv editor okay so let's do one thing here before uh, i will choose fast gpu to make it a little faster otherwise my computer will can become slower so best way to do that uh, to bring up the uv editor is 
I usually choose three windows. Okay. And then you can go to this main window and choose UV editor. Now in the UV editor, you can see the, they are overlapping. Okay. And actually that is fine overlapping because they are two different things. But if you want them to be uh, in one area, so it have to be, uh, you have to make them uh, like, uh, they shouldn't overlap. So you can right click, arrange it in a way that you want it. Okay. And you can fit them or whatever you are planning to do. So I can just pull them apart just like this. Okay. And then I can select all of them. I will right click and I can fit to UV one. Okay. Now this is saying UV cordon relative to all the like one, which is basically this part here. Okay. Now, this is a, uh, a basic UV map and you can uh, freely use that. Sometimes if you're working on a 3D model and you want them to be high resolution, okay, that means their texel den density have to be higher. So you have to use them as uh, you can say UDEMs. To use them as UDEMs, what simply you can do is that. Uh, let's increase the size of it. And here you can see there are numbers. One, two, three, four, five. So these are the UDEMs island. So I can simply move them to each UDEM like this. Okay. And I don't have to worry about their uh, like sizes anymore. So in this way, I will have a very sharp and crisp texture because the uh, UDEMs actually increases your uh, uh, like uh, kind of texel density. So as higher your texel density is, more sharper and crispier your uh, like textures will look like. So this is how you can do that. And if you will export it, it will, expo it will be exported as UDEMs to any uh, application you want. Now here on the top, we have uh, some uh, like views, I'm using the base color, so it, it's showing me the base color of my texture. If I will choose a uh, normal map, it will show me the normal map, displacement, and if, if you apply any other, like uh, metalness or roughness or opac opacity or, you know, other thing, and even if you want to see the wireframe, so you will be able to see that. I will keep it the base color, okay? Now, in the uh, my uh, fabric, you will notice that there is two different options here in the material. One is PBR and other is sub, uh, sorry substance. So right now I'm using uh, PBR and next time we will use the substance. Then in texture mapping, we have repeat and unified. If we, I will go to unified, so what it will do is that it will create it something like this. Okay. Now to control that, if I will now click on the UV editor and click on any one of these parts, you can see behind I have this map unified. Now I can control the, the repetition of this by clicking on my uh, map here. And then I have U and V, horizontal and vertical. So I can change this to maybe to three by three. So it will become smaller. Now I can easily move this around the way I like to, to the place I want it. Okay. And I usually like to work with unified because I can simply may, uh, move, uh, use my own pattern here. And you can see how it looks like right now. Okay. This is the backside. 
this is the front side oops if i'll go to the front side you can see still i have a gap so if i will move it closer there will be no gap here okay this is how you can work with if i will take the pajamas here this is the front side of the pajama you can go here change it from repeat to unified and change it to one uh, from one to five okay so if you will look they are not even because they are moved uh, uh i can just move it in this way and even these and if you want to align these two right click align the way you want it to be center or to be on the left side right side totally up to you usually we don't oh, i don't want to align it you can also flip these okay like suppose this one uh for example i don't want this to be uh facing in this direction maybe i want to face it to some other direction so i can flip it vertical so it will flip in this direction and i can keep it closed okay so basically this is how your view uh uv edit editing works so this is how you can create a basic uv map or uv map with different islands so you can use them as udims and uh, and if you will export it it will export it as uh, udims basically and i hope you have understood about the uv editor so guys if you have find this uh, video useful so please click the like button and if you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet so please do it and hit the bell icon to support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise i won't get any benefit out of it which will demotivate me to make further videos so please champion my channel and like my videos if you find them useful so take care guys stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on the interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 